magic moment with Pete Suchman here. So uh, I'm gonna try to uh, do something now which I think should uh, get us all in the mood for snow. December 21st, the first day of winter is coming soon. Oop, and we need a magic wand. There's my magic okay. wand. Okay. Now you wouldn't catch that on the camera of course because who knows when magic wands are gonna pop up. But I want to do something today with uh, something called instant snow. This is a super absorbent polymer. And what I have here is uh, 60 milliliters of water. I'm gonna pour 60 milliliters of water into this beaker. And I'm gonna add one teaspoonful now of instant magic snow. Now this super absorbent polymer is about 20 years old. And there's lots of very interesting applications for this. And watch what happens now when I add this polymer to water. Isn't that cool? Now, this is snow. All right. Um, you can use this in movies for special effects. Also, Super absorbent polymers are now being used in farming. You, uh, if you live in an area where there's not a lot of rain, uh, add a little bit of polymer to the soil and when it does rain, it'll soak up that water and hold it in the soil. Um, some thought has been given to using super absorbent polymers for oil spills now. If there's an oil spill in the ocean, you sprinkle some polymer onto the oil spill, it'll stabilize it, it'll turn it into a gel, uh, which can then be vacuumed up and cleaned out of the ocean. Someone is actually making scarves and headbands out of this material where they take a, a headband, fill it with a gel, and as you sweat, it um, absorbs the moisture, and then as it evaporates, it will cool you down. Very clever stuff. Polymers absorb more than 400 times their weight. So that's how you get all this snow from just a small amount of water. It's really quite remarkable. Is this a chemical change or is this a physical change? You're probably wondering. This is absolutely physical because if we leave this out long enough, the water will evaporate and I'll be back with the original powder I started with. What happens uh, as I've done research on this is that the water is absorbed between the polymer molecules and causes them to bulge and stretch, giving you this tremendous increase in volume, but it actually is fully reversible, which means this is a physical reaction, not a chemical reaction. Someone has recently decided they're going to market this for indoor snow arenas. You can go snowboarding and snowing on this. It's slippery and smooth, just like snow, and much, much less expensive to make. There is one other thing I wanted to show you today. The fastest growing plant on Earth. You know what it is? Oh my goodness. It's bamboo. Bamboo grows in the Guinness Book of World Records faster than any other plant on Earth. That, my friends, is magic and science. Have a good day. Bye.